Hi everyone, welcome back to Workado for Beginners. If you haven't already, check out our other Workado for Beginners videos, how to use projects, and how to create a new app connection. Today I'll be showing you how to create a recipe in Workado. Simply put, recipes are automations for business processes. These automations can be as simple as celebrating one deals by fetching opportunity data from Salesforce and posting it in Slack, or it could be something more advanced like employee onboarding, automating app provisioning and identifying new hires by connecting applications like Workday, ServiceNow and Active Directory. Let's take an example of a common business process where support agents managing cases in Salesforce need to escalate the problem to engineers who track their issues in Jira. So let's dive right in. In this workspace, I can navigate to the ticket escalations project where we want to build this recipe. Within this project, the admin has already created connections for Jira and Salesforce. From here, I can click create recipe up at the top to start the recipe building. To start, I'll give the recipe a meaningful name. And because I want the automation to kick off when a case is created or updated in Salesforce, I'll select trigger from an app to start. Just like cooking recipes, a workado recipe requires some essential ingredients. The first ingredient is a trigger. Triggers are events that kick off automation, which is a recipe. Triggers can be time-based, which means they trigger at a certain time on a certain day, or they can be event-based, such as when there is a new or updated record. To set up a trigger, I'll navigate to the right side of the page in the recipe editor and search for Salesforce since our support agents use Salesforce for managing customer cases. For every application, there are one or more triggers to choose from. The trigger you choose will depend on the process you are automating. In this example, I will choose new or updated record case. And this trigger automatically fetches case information from Salesforce when a case is created or updated. For us to get the case data from Salesforce, I must select the right connection. I'll select our product team Salesforce account. By selecting our team Salesforce connection, I can access all standard and custom objects in the Salesforce organization. Next, I have to decide what data I want to fetch and when. I can start by selecting what case fields I want access to in Salesforce, such as case ID, case number, and a few others to create an issue in Jira. Next, I'll select the timeframe for when I want the recipe to start, the past month or week, data from the last hour, or only new data after the recipe starts. I chose recipe start to tell the recipe only to fetch data changed after the recipe starts. So far, we have created a trigger event, which will fetch events from Salesforce. Now that we have this data, let's see how we can create an issue in Jira with the Salesforce case. In order to do this, I must create our next ingredient, an action. Actions are a set of tasks you want to automate. For example, creating or updating an issue in Jira, posting a message in Slack, loading data into a database, or transcribing text using language AI. To set up an action, I'll click the plus button underneath the action section of the recipe editor. Similar to selecting a trigger, I want to select an action in an app. For this example, I'm selecting Jira, where engineers can respond to issues that are being created. Again, just like triggers, there are many different actions that can be chosen. In this example, I'll select create issue. This will create a new issue whenever a change to a case is made in Salesforce. Next, I will select our team's Jira connection. Now I will start mapping data from the Salesforce case to the Jira issue. Mappings control the data flow in the automation. Mapping data is simple. On the right side are the Jira issue fields that need to be mapped to create an issue. On the left-hand side is the data tree with the list of all the data that has been fetched from the previous steps in my automation. So I have access to all the Salesforce fields from the trigger. To create a Jira issue, I'll select the Jira project and can map additional fields by dragging and dropping or just clicking on the field I need using the data tree. I created a summary and a description. A new case was created in Salesforce with the case ID, case number, and when it was created. Now I'm ready to test my recipe. To test, click on the test recipe button to start the recipe. And to demonstrate, I first went to Salesforce and created a new case. After running the trigger, I can see that the job was successful. Let's go back to Jira and check if it created an issue. And there it is, a new issue created in Jira. That's how you can quickly get started building a recipe. To learn more, you can visit our docs.workado.com. And as always, thank you for watching.